So when do you need antibiotics, particularly if you've got a cough, sore throat, runny nose, etc.? Most of the time, you don't need antibiotics. Like, you really don't, whether it's bacterial or viral. For example, with a sore throat, the average length of illness uh, of tonsillitis, whether it's viral or bacterial, is about seven days. Now, if we give antibiotics right at the start, that seven days becomes 6.25 slash six and a half days. So you're getting about 12 hours worth of benefit for something that you probably would have just managed to fight by yourself anyway. The times that we give antibiotics, it depends on the person's individual circumstances. So for example, are they immunocompromised and therefore at a greater risk of becoming much more unwell? Or do they have poorly controlled diabetes, which as a result, they might be way more likely to get a bacterial infection. And if they do get a bacterial infection, they're more likely to become very seriously unwell. So yeah, maybe we'll give some antibiotics in those cases um, as a precaution. I think we need to get out of this idea that antibiotics are needed to treat everything. And I think we also need to get out of this idea that antibiotics are needed to treat an infection if it's bacterial. Because more often than not, if you just wait a little bit, the, your, your body will just fight the infection. Now, there will be certain cases where you wait, you wait, you wait, and you're getting worse. If you're getting worse, yeah, go and see a doctor. But it's really important to be clear about what are the actual symptoms that you think are getting worse. For example, often patients will have just a worsening cough, but they're no longer having fevers, they're no longer having sh uh, shiver shakes or chills, they don't have muscle aches anymore, they're, still, they're now able to go about their daily activities. But just having a worsening cough doesn't necessarily mean you need antibiotics because you can have a wet cough when the mucus and the phlegm and the inflammation is all loosening and you're just going to spit it out or swallow it. Like it's not, that in itself wouldn't necessarily be an indication for antibiotics. But there are lots of nuances in this discussion. And when someone is really unwell, and uh, not well, unwell enough to go to the hospital, but um, unwell enough that we need to do something and we're worried about them, we will often just give antibiotics to cover for a potential bacterial infection, even though more often than not, it's probably still going to be a virus.